You know what, I, I think the North American Hockey League draft is – is without question the, the most important part of the recruiting process. Obviously, each team is, is given the opportunity to tender players, and, and certainly we utilize those the best that we can. But the draft allows you to, to open up your, your recruiting and, uh, and look at some guys from, from different walks of, of the, the hockey arena and, and find some players that are going to make a positive impact on your team. And, and so I thought our, our staff did a great job with our tenders this year, and I, I really hope that we did uh, just as good of a job with uh, the North American Hockey League draft. Well, the, the tryout process is paramount for us because we feel that we have, you know, six or seven guys that make our team off free agents because, um, you know, the, the draft, is, it's a little, you know, summer shots in the dark and it doesn't always work that way. So, um, you know, we try to do the best we can in, in the draft and address some areas that we need. But at the end of the day, you have, you have to come and make our team the old fashioned way. Even guys that are protected by us are veterans. Draft process for us, we've had a lot of success in New Jersey since I've been there. Um, if you look back on our draft picks, a lot of them do end up making our team. And then in the, the both pre-draft and main camp process, um, we take players from there. We drafted a player this year high in the draft who came to our pre-draft camp. Credit to our scouts in identifying these players and getting them to our camp and in front of the coaches because we don't get to go out as much during the year as we'd like to because um, we're so busy. But at the camps, we're locked in, and it's a captive audience for us, and we're able to identify the players. And like I said, this year, draft them right out of a pre-draft camp. Yeah, I think it's extremely important. Uh, you know, you're starting at the draft, and, you know, with uh, with the amount of players that our league are losing to either college hockey or to upward movement, um, we have to rely on the draft to, to reload our teams. And then uh, you, you bring along your camp process, and, you know, it's not every player out there wants to go through your camp process, but, you know, here in Aberdeen, it's a must. You know, our veterans, our tenders, our draft picks all have to compete at camp for a spot on the 25-man roster. You know, during the season, we play a 60-game season. We don't always have an opportunity to go out and, uh, you know, really recruit these kids too hard. So after you get to see them, you build that recruiting list. But, you know, having that draft gives us an opportunity to get, you know, get kids into our organization that we feel fit best into the, the organization that we're, and the team that we're going to build for the upcoming season. And without that draft, you never know if you could, you know, you'll get that opportunity to see that kid or have that kid into such a great league like the NA is and have that opportunity to develop that kid into a Division One hockey player. Well, they're very important. You know, I've had experience in the past in this league and doing it with other organizations, and uh, it's vital to the success of your organization and your team. So uh, to go through the draft and go through an open camp, we had a great camp uh, pre-draft in St. Louis. That was a lot of success. There was a lot of great players there that we're going to bring back to our main camp. And uh, there's quite a few players that were drafted that we're really excited about, and um, we're looking forward to this year. We have a huge turnover rate, uh, a lot of new guys, and for the returners, it's a new coach. So I'm excited to get the main camp and start to see what my team really looks like. Well, that's something. I mean, all of our pre-draft things, we you know we try to look at there. We go if we go to Colorado, we put on, you know, James Crossman or Blake Bride who just committed to Air Force. You know, we go to Michigan. Connor Hellebuck's one of the ones that obviously we found in in Michigan. So you're always looking at those guys. I mean, a Cooper Zek who, you know, be going to a pre-draft camp here. The, you know, he's a guy that we found in Niagara at one of our camps. So it's just amazing that you know you find these guys and anything can happen. A lot of work goes into it. Are you know fortunate to have great scouts and and a team of people that uh, you know are working hard in the trenches and going out and and, and being in those arenas. Um, but uh, you know we've had great success with our draft and and uh, the numbers don't lie. I think we and and outside the draft even we've had a lot of free agents just come in. I mean we. We're fortunate enough to play in the Robertson Cup final, and we we counted 11 kids that were on our final roster there that that we initially saw as free agents at our camp. So we take a great amount of pride and and put a lot of stock into our our, our camps, and, and we've had great success. And we want to continue that trend.